Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a really, really quick um, little r routine thing that I do before I go outside and lay out because it's really nice outside right now and that's what I really like to do is just during the nice weather in the summer, I love to lay out in tan and it's not really for, I mean, I don't mind getting the tan, but it actually makes me feel really good and I know that during the winter, a lot of people who um, have depression their doctor actually re recommend them to go tanning, like in a tanning bed, because I've, I, I really don't know, like I'm not, you know, I'm not really interested in that subject, so I have no idea why, like, I'm not really a big psychology, whatever, I'm more of a biology, but, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know, like I haven't really looked into it or anything, but supposedly it's supposed to make your depression lessen and make you feel better. So anyways, um, yeah, it does really help me a lot, like usually when I'm in a bad mood, just because for the last couple of days it's been raining, so um, this sun is definitely going to help out. So I just have this basic little thing that I bought at, for my painting, um, and it's a dollar at Michael's. And it's not really, I don't think I have like really exact measurement because it's just whatever I feel like having. But if I feel like getting tanner, then I would put more of the Hawaiian Tropic and um, the Glow and Steady from Bath and Body Works. But, sorry, my nose is itchy. I have, like, allergies, too, so. Not today, but past couple days. But if you are kind of, like, okay with it, because you have base tan already and you just want to get subtly tanner, um, I would definitely recommend you use Copper Tone um, Sunblock, SPF 50. I'm pretty sure it goes up to really high. So... What I'm just going to do is just put a really tiny amount, just because, as you can see, I'm somewhat tan already. And I've been laying out for a while. I don't know if you can see it so well. It's like right here. Just a couple. I don't know. It's not in a lot. Because I really don't need it. And yeah. Actually, I might put a little more because it's like for going to be for like your whole body. So. so just like fill this one. I don't know if you can see this too well, but I just filled this one little tray with um, the um, Hawaiian Tropic. It's just, it's just basically an oil that it's like cooking steak with butter. It'll help brown brown the steak or whatever. So that's like basically what the sun does to your skin. So you don't want to tan too much. And then you can put some. You can probably see this butter, but you can put some of the um, Bath and Body Works. Um. Subtly, subtle tanner in here, subtle moisturizer and tanner. So, I just like to mix it. It's not like, obviously not like perfectly on the little palette because I'm not really targeting that. I'm just, I just need something to like put this stuff on because when I go outside, I'll just basically put it on my body. And then this is going to, so I think I'm going to do, I did, I'm going to do, um, So a quarter of the Hawaiian Tropic and a quarter of the bronzer, the Glow and Steady from, um, it's just like a subtle self-tanning lotion thing. But yeah, so a quarter of each, and then I'm going to do half of this Copper Tone SPF 50. And I'll probably have some left over, and I'll just put it, apply it, even if it's like, you know, too much, because I don't really care. So, because this is like basically for your whole body, so you got to do a quick estimation of how much lotion you'll need to like apply for your entire body. So, you don't want too much, but you don't want too little. Yeah, I actually just got home from school right now. It's so freaking hot. Alright. So, that's basically it. I mean, it's really, really um, simple to do. Nothing, you know. You want your skin to be protected, but you also want to get a nice tan. So, but you can also change the ratio and experiment. Um, if you are looking for more of a tan, then you can do more of the oil or more of the lotion because they'll both help, help you tan. But if you're not, then you can be like me and do half of the SPF 50. But, you know, you can mix and match, experiment, try it out. doesn't have to be like what I'm doing. All right, so I'm outside right now laying in the grass. I'm kind of holding the camera because... I really don't know where else to put it, 
But a good tip before you tan is the night before, you use like an exfoliating body wash because that'll help um, remove the dead skin so then, you know, you can like have a nice even tan. And I'm just going to put this on my face only. I forgot to tell you guys that, so yeah. So, I don't know. I just like to have it, my, the face of, uh, the skin of my face protected well because it's really sensitive. Oh, and I forgot my sunglasses. And usually I wear sunglasses because I don't want my eyes to like die. But yeah, it's so hot outside right now. So, bye. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, I hope it helped you guys out. I'm not sure if it's going to be like one of those pointless videos, but yeah, so thanks for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye guys.